So actually, let's get started on our backs. So you're going to find a comfortable position lying on your back. Bring your feet about the distance of your mat, so about as wide apart as your mat, and let your knees knock toward each other as you turn your palms to the sky. You can keep the eyes open here and soften the gaze toward the ceiling, or you can allow the eyes to gently close. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through the mouth. And just bring your attention to the breath, the rise and fall of your belly, the rise and fall of your chest that expanding and contracting that happens in your body and all over the universe. Start to bring the knees into the chest, maybe giving yourself a little rock side to side or making some circles with the low back. Give yourself a little hug and squeeze here. Maybe bring the head up towards the knees. Flex the toes. I have socks on because it's a little cold in here. But just spread the toes nice and wide on the feet. Great. And then exhale as you release everything down to the mat. Let's do that again. So inhale, bring the knees in, bring the head to the knees. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then exhale, bring everything down. One more time. Inhale, knees come in, head comes to the knees, toes spread wide, squeeze, hands and feet are active. One more sip of breath here, and then exhale, everything comes down to the mat. Give yourself a little wiggle here, make any adjustments that you need to. Hug the right knee in as you send the left leg out long. Foot is nice and active as if you're standing on it. So again, the toes are spread. Foot is flexed. Make some circles with that right knee and hip. And then when you're ready, reverse the direction. Good. Bend the left knee, plant the foot into the mat. Send that right foot up toward the ceiling. Hug behind the back of the thigh. Maybe give yourself a little squeeze here. Remember, we're just starting. You don't need to go too intense. This is your practice, so you do what feels good in your body. Inhale here as you exhale, bring this right foot to the top of the left thigh. And then you can either stay here, gently pushing that right thigh away, or reach through the legs and interlace the fingers around the back of the left thigh or the front of the left shin as you relax your shoulders, neck, and head back onto the mat. Pulling that left thigh towards you as you move the right knee away. <laughs> Inhale here and then exhale, release that left foot to the mat, send the right foot up toward the sky, release the right foot back to the mat, hug the left knee in, send the right leg out long, feet are nice and active, toes are spread wide, make some circles here with that left knee and hip, enjoy the little show my dogs are putting on for you. <laughs> Inhale, bring that, uh, bend that right knee, plant the right foot into the mat, send the left foot toward the sky. Foot is nice and active as if you're trying to stand on your ceiling. Maybe hug that left thigh in towards you. Inhale here and exhale as you bring the left foot to the top of the right thigh. Pushing that left knee away, that left thigh away, or reaching through the legs, interlacing the fingers around the back of the left thigh. Relaxing the head and neck onto the mat as you pull that right thigh towards you and move the left knee away. Inhale here, release the right foot to the mat, send the left foot toward the sky, give yourself one little hug here, bring it down to the mat. Bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock back and forth here. If that's not working, you can turn to your side. We're gonna make our way up to a seat and find that comfortable seat. Feel your sit bones root into the mat. Knees relax open. If this is comfortable for you, you can also bring the feet in front of you or whatever feels good to you today. 
Roll the shoulders up, back and down, reach up through the crown of the head, good. Let's do some circles here. Inhale as the chest comes forward, exhale arching the back. Just a few times here. And then with your next inhale, reversing direction. Good, and then coming back to center, finding that, that centered posture here in your seat. Inhale the arms up overhead, and then exhale, bring the arms wide and twist to your right. Maybe looking over that right hand if that's available to you. Inhale back to center, exhale wide, twist to the left. Inhale center, exhale right. Inhale, center, exhale, left, excellent. Inhale, back to center, exhale, turn the palms out, hands come to the sides. Bring the hands behind you, you're gonna point the fingers toward the back of your space. And as you inhale, arch the chest forward. Maybe lean the head back just slightly, but don't put too much stress on your neck here. So you're basically bringing your eyes to the sky. Inhale, reaching forward and up with the chest. Exhale, coming forward, arching the back, giving yourself a hug. Give yourself a little wiggle here. If you got a dog on your lap, you can give them a little pet. <laughs> Come back to center. Excellent. I'm gonna have to move you, Peanut. Well, let's do some more stretching while Peanut gets comfortable here. We'll bring the right hand to the side. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and overhead as you bend that right elbow. And instead of collapsing here, you're gonna make yourself as long and tall as you can, reaching out through those left fingertips, rooting down through the left sit bone, the left butt cheek. Good. Hips are nice and even here. See if you can open that chest and look up. Shoulders drawing away from the ears, shoulder blades drawing towards each other on the back, toward the back of your heart. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, bring that hand down to the side, good. So now we'll root into that left palm. And as we inhale, we bend that left elbow and sweep that right arm up overhead, growing long, through the side body, that stretch all the way through the right side body. Good. Inhale here, stretching, reaching, lengthening. See if you can open the chest. Good. And then inhale back to center, exhale, drop the hand. Now let's see if we can do that and add a little bit of a bind there. So inhale, sweeping that arm up overhead, and now take this arm and lift it and bring it behind your back to the other side of your waist. So right hand wraps around the back, touching the left side waist. Or even if you can get further than that, you can grab the thigh or pet your little dog. Inhale, reaching, exhale. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, reach. Maybe give yourself a little twist toward the sky and then release that bind and come back to center. Good. Inhale, rooting into the left palm as you reach that right arm overhead. Good. And now we'll lift that left hand off the mat and move into that bind if you are feeling good there. If not, you're welcome to leave that palm right where it is, rooting down through that right sit bone, reaching up and over with that right hand. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, release the bind. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hand comes back down to the side. Good. Peanut? Okay. Let's move on to our hands and knees. Moving through a couple of cat-cow. Inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the tailbone. Exhale, arching the back. Hands are directly under the shoulders here. Knees and hips are in a line. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Two more like that. Inhale forward. Lifting through the collarbones, lifting through the tailbone. 
Exhale, arching one more. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, arching. Tuck the toes, press into the hands, lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Head is relaxed here. You can shake the head yes and no to relax the neck. Pressing in through the palms, really focus on the thumb and index finger. Biceps moving towards the front of your space as the shoulder blades draw towards each other on the back. Heels press toward the mat, does not matter if they ever get there. And tailbone presses toward the sky. One more inhale here. And then exhale, walk your feet towards your hands as many steps as it takes for you to get there and find yourself in a standing forward fold. Find opposite elbows with your palms and give yourself a little sway back and forth. Release back, hands come to the shins, inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold, and inhale, as you lead with the chest, lifting all the way up to stand, arms come up overhead, exhale, palms together, hands to heart center. Great. Let's move into a, we'll move through mountain and a little bit of balance, and then we'll go back down to the mat. So, rooting down through the feet, spread the toes, feel your weight distribute through all four corners of the feet, roll the shoulders up, back and down, turn the palms forward. Tuck the chin slightly, reach up through the crown of the head, finding your mountain pose. Inhale as you lift the arms overhead, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, maybe focusing on reaching up through that pinky finger side of the hand, even moving the pinkies towards each other a little bit, maybe bringing your gaze up. Exhale, turn the palms out, bring the hands back down to the sides. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, arms come Placing all of your weight and attention into that right foot, lift your left heel, swing that right knee or that left knee open for your tree pose. You can stay here or you can start to move the foot up the leg, foot and leg pressing into each other, avoiding that knee joint. So you're either in the calf or in the thigh. Hands can be at the waist, at the heart, or you can spread your branches wide. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the hands, keep the leg where it is. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, lower the arms. One more time. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, lower the arms. And then lower the leg. We'll move that to the other side, planting all of our weight and attention into the left foot. Lifting the right heel, swinging the right knee open to the side. Finding your tree pose on this side, whatever's feeling good to you today, wherever you feel steady. Hips are open to the front. That knee is moving toward the back of your space. Hands can be wherever you feel good today, maybe spreading your branches. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, bringing the hands down. Inhale, lifting if you're here. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lifting, reaching, spreading those branches. Exhale, hands come down and release that leg. Good. Inhale, let's move to the front of our mat. Arms come up overhead. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands in the mat as you inhale and step back into your plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees. Move back into your child's pose. Inhale into your tabletop. Move into your cow pose. So chest comes up, tailbone comes up. Exhale, back into your child's pose. Inhale through cow pose. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, sliding all the way down onto your belly. Hands come under the shoulders. Inhale, lifting the chest, shoulders, and elbows moving towards each other for cobra. Exhale, release, tuck the toes. Inhale, one last downward facing dog. Pressing the hips toward the sky, heels moving toward the mat. Head and neck are relaxed. 
pressing deeply into the hands. One more inhale here, pressing the hips toward the sky. Exhale, lower the knees. Bring the big toes together, knees wide apart, and release back into your child's pose. Take a couple of breaths here. And start to move up onto all fours, cross the ankles, and move back into your seat. Again, you can stay in the cross-legged seat if that's comfortable for you. If not, you find what works for you. Let's inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, twisting to the right. Again, that open twist. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, twisting to the left. See if this feels any different than it did when we started. Inhale, coming up toward the center. And exhale as we fold forward. Maybe the hands come behind you. You can put a block or a pillow or blanket under your forehead if you'd like to, or if the forehead reaches the ground, that's great as well. Take a moment to rest here. Forward folds are a great time for us to go inward, to go deep. Inhale as you make your way back to your seat. And exhale all the way down onto your back. Inhale the knees into the chest. Give yourself that little rock. Bring the arms out to the side. Let the knees fall to the right. You can bring the right hand to the top of the left knee here. Gaze can be up over the left shoulder, over the right shoulder. Inhale the knees back to center. Arms come wide. Exhale, drop the knees to the left. Find a comfortable position for your gaze. And you can bring that left arm to the top of the right knee if that feels good to you, or keep the arms out nice and wide. Inhale, knees back to center. Give yourself a little rock here. On your next inhale, bring your head in. Feet are active, hands are active, squeeze. One last inhale here, sip in as much air as you can, and exhale as you unfurl and release all the way down onto the mat, arms, legs, head, neck, shoulders, and releasing the breath. Bring one hand to the belly and one hand to the chest, and just take a moment to reconnect with your natural breath. Maybe it feels a little faster or deeper than it usually does right now. And just notice the connection between your breath and how you feel in your body. This is an important skill to have, being able to connect the breath and how we feel in our physical body because we can affect our breath. And by doing so, we can sometimes draw ourselves out of tension and into relaxation, into ease. You can stay here as long as you'd like, but we're at the end of our 20-ish minutes. So Peanut is standing on top of me, so I'm probably just gonna stay here. <laughs> you can make your way back to a comfortable seat. Actually, let me see if I can do it. <laughs> Bringing your hands to your knees. Taking a few breaths here. Let's inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, palms together, hands to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me today. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you for making the time and space for yourself today. When we strive to make ourselves better, we also improve the world around us. When we love ourselves, it makes it that much easier to love the people in our lives and to spread that love to the rest of the world. So just by taking this time for yourself, you can make the world a better place. Let's inhale, bring the thumbs to the forehead, maybe giving yourself a little massage here. And exhale, releasing your hands to seal your practice. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you again soon.